Side by side for the LMP3 lead, Torsten Kratz in the white car, Matthew Richard Bell in the dark blue and Matthew Bell to the inside line of Bose, but he's washed it out a bit too much and there's a shoulder barge there from Torsten Kratz to give the lead back to WTM by Rinaldi. Superb stuff from these two bronze star drivers in LMP3. Yeah, they very much are the stars of the bronze pack, aren't they, in LMP3? And you saw it there, quality of racing, bit of contact. Not sure we're going to see any afters from race control about that one. Elbows out. This could be quite the battle. Watch if you're relatively new to the European Le Mans series. Watch for the strategy that comes in in LMP3 a little later. We get into the regular pit stops. Now, battle for second in about the Lambo? Yeah. yeah. Oh, over the curbs there from Hiroshi Yamaguchi. That's fine. That's fine. And this is not airborne like Jonas Reed. It's not particularly fast though compared to the car guy Ferrari. And Hamaguchi versus Kimura, the two Japanese drivers. Now it has worked for him, and uh, I think that was perfectly legal. He I'm always sure had, it was. always had two Goodyear tyres on the right side of the white line. I absolutely was not saying it was anything other than legal. What it was was really scary. But that, uh, that would have been a, quite a moment. He'll have no us. teeth left after no. that. Uh, but uh, preferring the roller coaster route on the Mistral straight. They're the two cars that were, um, it was the overtaking off the track. Both those cars were under investigation for the same offence. All right, so there's a conversation to be had there, no doubt. From a long way back, the number eight car in LMP3, down the inside of car four, that was for fourth position. Ferrari's very close to one another as the black and white LMP3 car overtakes a similar paint scheme on the Ferrari. That's our leader. In behind, it is the LMP3 leader getting by Manu Collard. And Collard now perhaps about to be overtaken by the Formula Racing car, which was fully off the road. Coming up to senior corner, might just have kept enough tyre the right side of the white line. And that's, uh, if it's legal, it's a great overtake by Conrad oh, Lawson. Big twitch as well. Conrad Lawson, young Dane, son of Johnny Lawson, our 2015 LMS GTE champion for Formula Racing. Great to see them back here and back in fighting form. It's not a race anymore, Johnny, it's a duel. Stephen Kilby, I've heard of him, of dailysportscar.com, suggests that was a 48 minute stint for Malta Jakobsen. Have they run clean out of fuel? No. He suggests. And that close to the pit lane, bearing in mind he was coming out of turns 9 and 10. But again, you know, is there not like a res reserve tank? It, it seems strange that it just cut out completely. Sometimes even on the starter you can limp it home, and he would have tried that because he was, was well into the final sector. Oh, look at this! Down the inside! Got him! Uh, it's not reflected on the timing it's screen, not, though. So he's got back. He got back in front. Yeah. So Jop van Aert, no, no, Tom Dillman is in it front. That's correct. And that's now, is that uh, Novalak? into the pit lane. So Novalak peels off in the background, Dillman ahead of Jot van Aertert, 